Hi guys! Our topic for today is differential equations and we'll talk about variable separable equations. Let's start with the simplest type of technique for solving differential equations. Previously, we tried to come up with a differential equation by elimination of arbitrary constants using differentiation. Now, if we want to solve for the solution of a differential equation, we'll use anti-differentiation or integration. Ano nga ba yung variable separable differential equation? As its name suggests, this differential equation is so simple that you can just separate the variables, perform integration, and that will give you the solution. For example, we have y prime equals xy. So this is a differential equation. Check natin kung siya ay variable separable. We can say that it is variable separable kung mapaghiwalay natin lahat ng may y sa lahat ng may x. So pag sinabi kong lahat ng may y, kasama na doon yung dy, and lahat ng function ng y, and lahat ng x is all functions of x, and that also includes dx. So let's try to solve for the solution of this differential equation. y prime is the derivative of y with respect to x. Try nating ilipat sa left side, lahat ng may y, and lahat ng x sa right side. Para malipat natin si y sa left side, divide natin both sides by y, Tapos, multiply natin both sides by dx. So, notice na magka-cancel si dx sa left side and si y sa right side. So, we'll have dy over y that is equal to x dx. Since we're able to do this, so siya ay variable separable. To, to get the solution, we'll just integrate. Let's apply the common integral for dy over y. That will be ln of y. So dahil indefinite integration, we'll have a constant, tawagin natin c1, equals for the integral of the right side, we'll have x squared over 2. And dahil nga indefinite integration, so meron tayong constant na C2. Ilipat natin lahat ng non-y term sa right side. So lipat natin si C1 dito. We'll have ln of y is equal to x squared over 2 plus C2 minus C1. Take note na si C2 at si C1 ay constant. So kapag pinagsama natin yan, Anong lalabas? Diba constant din? So, pwede natin isulat yon as one term lang, which is, tawagin na lang natin C. If we want to get Y in terms of X, paano natin matatanggal yung LN dito? So, recall, E of LN of, let's say, any variable that is equal to A. So, kunin natin yung E ng both sides. So, we'll have y is equal to E raised to x squared over 2 plus C. This is now the general solution of the differential equation y prime equals xy. Let's try to solve this differential equation. Notice na yung numerator ay function lahat ng x and yung denominator ay function ng y. So, isang sign to or clue sa atin na itong differential equation natin is variable sa parable. So, as you can see, if we cross-multiply this, pagsasama-sama natin lahat ng y sa left side and lahat ng x sa the right side. Cosine of y plus e raised to y dy equals, multiply natin to, 6x to the 5th power minus 2x plus 1 dx. So, to get the solution, we'll just integrate. The integral of cosine y dy is sine y plus e raised to y dy. Integral nun is just e raised to y. 
So, hindi ko nalalagyan dito ng constant. Sa right side ko na lang ilalagay. Equals. Integral ng 6x to the 5th power dx is 6x 5 plus 1. That is 6 divided by 6 minus 2x squared over 2 plus x plus the constant. Kasi nga indefinite integration. So simplify lang natin yung right side and we'll have sine y plus e raised to y equals x to the 6 minus x squared plus x plus c. So this is now the general solution of this differential equation. Next problem, we have xy cubed dx plus e raised to x squared dy equals 0. Let's see kung kaya ba natin siyang gawing variable sa parable. So dito, magkasama na si x dx and si dito naman so dy. Paano natin matatanggal si y cubed dito and si e raised to x squared? So we can do that by dividing the whole equation by y cubed and e raised to x squared. So if we do that, we'll have x dx all over e raised to x squared plus dy over y cube equals 0. So, magkakasama na lahat ng x and lahat ng y. So, the next step will be to integrate. So, let's solve for the integral of this equation. So, ito medyo kakaiba pa. But this one, so medyo madali na. Solving for the integral, sulat muna natin yung denominator as negative exponents. Para mas madali, e raised to negative x squared dx plus y raised to negative 3 dy equals 0. So, ito madali lang gagamitin natin ng power rule. But for the first term, anong solution yung gagamitin natin? So, let's try using u substitution. Let us assign e raised to negative x squared as u. Then, let's take the derivative of this equation. So, du is equal to negative 2x e raised to negative x squared dx. So, notice na itong term na to is also this term. So, if we solve for that by dividing the whole equation by negative 2, we can get, so, du over negative 2 is equal to x e raised to negative x squared dx. Ipalit natin yung buo na to for x e raised to negative x squared dx. So, we'll have the integral of du over negative 2 plus the integral of y raised to negative 3 dy equals 0. So, the integral of du over negative 2 is just negative 1 half times the integral of du, that is u, plus integral of y raised to negative 3 over dy. So, y raised to negative 3 plus 1, negative 2, divided by negative 2. So, dahil indefinite integral to kailangan ng constant equals 0. So, u is equal to e raised to negative x squared. So, negative e raised to negative x squared over 2 minus y raised to negative 2 over 2 plus c equals 0. Sulat natin to with positive exponents. So, negative 1 over 2 e raised to x squared minus 1 over 2y squared plus so itong constant natin i-divide na natin by 2 since yung dalawang unang term natin is merong denominator na 2 so question okay lang ba yun okay lang yun kasi as much as possible yung constant natin sinusulat natin siya as c lang or a constant so 
constant divided by 2, that is still a constant. So, walang problema. And usually, kapag nasusulat din tayo ng final answers, uh, wala yung denominator. So, to simplify this, let's multiply the whole equation by the denominators. And multiply na rin natin by negative 1. Negative 2e raised to x squared y squared. Multiplying this whole equation by this factor, we'll get y squared plus e raised to x squared minus, so positive times negative minus, pero dahil constant lang din naman yun, so okay lang isulat as positive, c e raised to x squared times y squared equals 0. So, this is now the solution of this differential equation. Let's try solving a differential equation na yung variable naman niya ay hindi na x and y. So, we have dr equals b times quantity cosine theta dr plus r sine theta d theta. Pwede yung unang tanong dito, lo, bakit tatlo na yung variable? So, ang titignan niya lang lagi pag ganyan para hindi kayo malito is kung ano ba yung naka-differentiate. So, for this, we have dr, so meaning derivative ng r, and we, here, we have d theta, so derivative ng theta. Meaning, yung variables natin for this problem is just theta and r. And that also means na si b ay constant. Let's start by distributing b dito sa right side. We'll have dr equals b cosine theta dr plus br sine theta d theta. Pag samasamahin natin lahat ng derivative ng r sa isang side, we'll have here dr minus b cosine theta dr equals br sine theta d theta. Factor out natin si dr and we'll have here 1 minus b cosine theta quantity dr equals br sine theta d theta. So, sa left side, doon natin ilagay lahat ng function ng r and sa right side, lahat ng function ng theta. So, to do that, we'll divide the whole equation by r and 1 minus b cosine theta. So, we'll have here dr over r that is equal to b sine theta d theta divided by 1 minus b cosine theta. So, napaghiwalay na natin lahat ng variables. Pwede na tayong mag-integrate. Yung left hand side natin is applyan lang natin ng common integral for ln. Paano naman itong right side? So, hindi siya ganun ka-obvious. Let's try to work out this side muna. Let us write the denominator as u. Then, differentiate natin. The derivative of u is du. The derivative ng right side is 0. So, negative derivative ng cosine theta is positive b sine theta d theta. So, therefore, du is equal to b sine theta d theta. Notice, itong right side natin, that is the numerator. So, pwede natin palitan yun ng du. Now, we'll have the integral of dr over r that is equal now to integral of du over u. So, madali nang integrate. The integral of dr over r, that is ln of r equals integral of du over u, that is ln of u. So, dahil yung first two terms natin is under or inside ln, yung constant natin, lagay na rin natin inside ln. Okay lang ba yun? Okay lang yun. Kasi ito, pag ginawa natin ang ln or natural logarithm ng isang constant, constant pa din yun. Then, palit natin for u, yung kaninang 1 minus b cosine theta. And by properties of logarithm, 
Pag may sum tayo nito, pwede natin silang isulat as a product. So, ln of c multiplied by 1 minus b cosine theta. That is our u. So, para mas simple pa yung ating final answer, let us all raise this by e para matanggal yung ln. So, we'll have r that is equal to c times 1 minus b cosine theta. So, this is now the solution of this differential equation.